Okay, so. In this video, I am going to touch on something very bizarre that happened. Usual guest. No puppy. Every single time. Every time. Every time. Every time. It's got to be in on it. You just want to be a superstar, don't you? You just love cameras. Mama's busy. <laughs> okay. So for this, I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Okay, so this story is about a imposter, a fake, someone, I mean, I have had stuff like this happen to me before, but this is the most outrageous, craziest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And people actually believed this person for a while from what I can tell I'm not too sure why because it just seems like this who I assume was a girl I don't know um, was coming out with stuff that was so insane it was like she was trying to push to see when someone was going to be like So, <laughs> this person named herself Lilith Dam Damico. She's probably watching this. I don't know, or he. I I don't know who this person was. It could be. It could even be someone I know. That's the scary part. I never figured out who this person was. Um, basically, this the reason this one stands out so much to me is because. I mean, I've had outrageous things done before where they've took my face, my pictures, whatever, and they've created a, like, fans-only type deal where people think that they're sending money for nudes. I don't actually have any. So if you've been scammed into that, they're me. <laughs> I've never took anything like that and sent it. I've done semi sort of risky things on snapchat to one person that i know did not screenshot or screen record or anything like that so plus he's still very much in my life so he's not circulating those so they they don't exist basically um but this one is just crazy so basically my whole like thing if you like online is that I like to call myself a clown because I know that I look a bit out there this is probably the most tamest I've looked for a while like you know normally I have like blue hair green hair whatever color and I I don't know I just see myself as quite a clown because I've just always loved that like type of thing from being a kid I was around a lot of like circus related stuff when I was a kid and to me all of that stuff just seems comforting I suppose is the word I'm looking for um so yeah that's my whole th like jokey thing like so I think some I think it stemmed from the fact that yeah I did love all that stuff when I was a kid but also this girl said it to me as an insult and I thought it was brilliant she, she actually called me a strung out clown she said I look like a strung out clown so I was like basically I was on drugs that's what she thought and I was like I like to be called a clown cool I'm a clown anyway this girl actually said that I like she said that my name is Lilith obviously and she said that I was actually a clown she said that and this was all on a platform called line I think there was other th profiles but I don't know but the main one that I heard about that I saw that I read into was called on an 
an app or a site called Line. Um, and yeah, she basically said that I, Lilith, was Italian. Do I look Italian? I don't. Can I come across as Italian? No, I can be a bit mouthy sometimes, which is Italian. I think I've got Italian in me somewhere deep down the line. But I definitely don't. None of my family look Italian. Like, we're just as plain, boring ass as can be. So that was a bit strange. So anyway, she said that I was Italian. That I ran away from home because they kept us in cages. Like, I'm assuming she meant, like, my dad was, like, this big evil guy who didn't like us, so he kept us in cages, something like that. And... <laughs> To escape it, we ran away to the circus. <laughs> okay, so that was the first weird thing that she said that people seem to believe. I don't know why. Um, and then she said that when she was in the circus, she pretty much became like the leader of it and also became a leader of an Italian mob. So I think a lot of the people that she spoke to were kind of scared of her because she made them believe that she was killing people, that I'd killed people, because this is supposed to be me. Um, yeah. Okay. And she also lied and said that, which is weird because I didn't find this out until later on. I don't know if she just said it to one person or multiple people, but she said that, um, Lilitha was my sister and by that I mean Lilitha Bones as in the YouTuber as in Ava as in my actual friend was apparently my sister and apparently her YouTube name was based on me Lilitha as well so I, I, it didn't really make much sense because to some people she thought Ava's name was actually Lilith Lilitha and to other people that was just her YouTube name based on me Lilith and yeah she she conned a lot of people actually and she had a long term relationship with a girl I won't name her name but she was like heartbroken because someone pointed this out to me through my Instagram which was my main platform like I don't really have anything else and until now um, and was like oh is this you and I was like no that's not my name <laughs> um, and yeah it just went from there and I just found out all this crazy information and I just thought how do these people believe this stuff she must have been really convincing but anyway we I created an actual account online um, very briefly, I don't have it now but I created it, I sent her a few messages saying what the hell are you doing, it was mainly because she'd really upset this girl that she had a relationship with um, when she found out that none of it was true and it was basically a lie and she didn't reply to me but my partner at the time who's, bless him, he's still in my life a lot, is yeah, it was Scott and he created an account as well and he sent her a few messages and he just said, what What are you doing? Like, I know this girl, like, she's with me, like, what are you doing? And she only replied to him, I mean, I don't blame her because he's a good looking guy, she probably just saw him and was like, oh, okay, I'll message you and then realised what he was saying um, but she, yeah, so she, she admitted to him but she never really gave an excuse, it was just, I don't know, she just, something along the lines of, oh, we can't all be like her or something, and I just thought, that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this, was because it is crazy how much people assume stuff about you when all they can see is a picture. 
because my main platform is Instagram. But yeah, that was the most craziest one. I'm sure there's others. There's there is quite a few other profiles that I am aware of that I have reported. There is quite a few that I don't know anything about. The ones that do get to me a little bit are the ones that are, you know, making me out to be a stripper or something like that. It's like, I've never done anything like that, so no. <laughs> but yeah, that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to start this off, was because of stuff like this. But I felt really bad for the girl in involved in it. I I didn't really feel any sympathy for the girl who lied. I know she lied because she wanted an escape, whatever, you know, the usual crap that they come out with on catfish. It was literally like catfish. Um but I just felt sorry for the girl who thought she was in a relationship with me. Like God knows why you'd want to be in a relationship with a psycho clown mafia mob boss. But she must have charmed her. <laughs> and I just feel bad for her because it's just not real and she disappeared for a while after that and I have no idea what happened to her so I hope she's okay but yeah and there was quite a few people who were mad as well because of some of the stuff that she'd come out with and they were having to go at me when I joined line because they thought it was still part of it and I was like no uh, to the point where I had to literally go on video chat with someone and be like I'm from the UK I'm not Italian like no but yeah that was that story I have a couple of other weird and wonderful stories that have happened to me but that one I definitely wanted to do because like I say it did affect quite a few people actually I was quite surprised how many people were in like this little circle of friends or acquaintances that she'd formed it was like she was literally a, a ringleader of all these people and she just had them going round and round not knowing what was going on once they questioned her, I think she basically used the mob boss thing to threaten them. But, yeah, I just wanted to get it out there that none of that was true. <laughs> like, literally none of it. I also thought it was funny that she didn't even know what height I was. She literally was making up everything. In some things, I was five foot nine. <laughs> I wish. And in other things, I was only five foot three. So, depending on what post you read that she posted, it all varied, all of it, so I don't know how no one questioned it sooner. But as far as I know, she's not doing it anymore. And I just think it's crazy to think that someone would want to be me. Like, I'm just, I'm, I might look a bit interesting and whatever, but I'm actually not. <laughs> just a person. And it's like, these people can just be themselves and just if you've got some I, that's why I love the film Party Monster as well is because this, the moral of it was if you've got something weird about you accentuate it make it interesting own it there's literally a line from James St. James where he says if you've got a, hum a hunchback just throw a little glitter on it and go dancing exactly I was teased when I was younger about my eyes because they're so big Hence all of this going on. Because it's like, yeah, they're big. I have a Care Bear shaped head. A heart on my nose, I'm literally a Care Bear. So? I can't change it. Well, I could change it. But it would cost a lot of money. And I'm not getting surgery. <laughs> I'm not brave enough for surgery. <laughs> no, thank you. So it's just, I don't know. I just wanted to make this video just to prove a point that just because you see a picture of someone doesn't mean you know them and it was just really shocking to have it to that extent and hear from people that it actually affected because like I knew that people were making stuff like that with me but I never thought about I just thought oh well that's a bit sad they just want a bit of attention whatever or you know they're doing something that they shouldn't be probably but I never thought about the people that they're actually talking to so if any of them see this, like, I am sorry that they did that to you. Like, I am. Um, I've probably been catfished a few times in my past. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, yeah, that was one of the stories that I wanted to share. So, 
Um, like I said, I've got other stories as well that I'll be sharing. But that one was the main one that I was one of the first things that I just wanted to get out there <laughs> for you all. Um, because I do think that a lot of people that were friends with friends with her um, did end up following me and wanting to talk to me, um, which was nice. So yeah hopefully a lot of people learned something from this video um people that are still thinking i'm this other person that i'm not this is just me pointing out that that stuff does happen so don't always believe it at the moment i've only got this channel my official instagram which is again down there and it does state only account so anything else that you come across is not me um yeah so more stories to come i'm sure but if you're interested join the family and yeah look forward to more stuff like this because unfortunately a lot of weird stuff's happened to me <laughs> so i've got a lot more stories to share see you next